understand the plight of the artist. Mm -hmm. so, so now I'm looking at things from a level of knowing exactly what happened across every label, across every budget. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing decisions being made that artists will never know how people made those decisions. I'm seeing mm -hmm. people get shelved for reasons that just don't make, you know, no kind of sense. I, wow. I just like, see like what? things. Like what? Disenchanted, like it just mm -hmm. feeling um, more and more like I really. I always had through my entire time in the in the business felt like I was on the side of the artist, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so now here I was feeling very much like I'm not on the side of the artist. Okay, mm -hmm. like like I'm the man now. Mm -hmm. You know machine. what I mean? The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a good feeling. You didn't feeling. like the machine feeling. And um. And so I bugged the system a lot. Mm -hmm. I really did. Mm -hmm. And I got in trouble a lot. I like that. Um, but, but, you know, in good trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like printing the trouble. album you want and sending it out yeah, instead exactly. of listening to the first exactly. of all, good language trouble. is key. Ain't no such thing as good trouble. Either it's trouble or it's not trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Either it's trouble or it's not trouble. trouble. I mean, We're not doing that. So here's what, here's what I call good trouble. Okay. There was a point where I bugged the system very, very hard because J. Cole's album, his J. Cole's first album, mm -hmm. was sitting on the shelf. It was not going to be released. Yo, this girl is And it was plum. like some for serious real. politics happening. Wow. And so I, I went, I worked directly for Doug Morris at the time. I worked wow. for the CEO of Sony Big Music. Name I didn't report to anyone else. That Google at this yeah. Yeah. I, reported, I reported only to Doug. And wow. so, so I brought this to his attention. I said, I think this is the most important record in the building right now. Who that? Who that? Um, J. Cole, right? J. Cole, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, That's um, crazy. And so it's not going to come out. Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. And there's many people who can tell the story. Um, I so, want to say so, thank you because I'm a huge J. Cole fan. Me too. Uh, yeah. 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 To you for making yeah. that happen. We would have never got four sales drive. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. But there were people who were really pissed off. The person who was the CEO of Columbia at the time was pissed off at me. A lot of people were pissed off at me, like, mind your own business. Mm -hmm. However, couple of the same people, and this is why I say good trouble, of those same people. So we went through the whole process then of like building out the marketing plan and Doug told them she's going to sit in every meeting because mm. now it was like, we're going to make sure the record comes out. Yeah. Can you imagine me having to walk in that room every week? Wow. And there is some, <laughs> That's there's just some me, people, though. some people like, yeah, you know. Yeah. And like some are just like, hey. And others are like, this bitch. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's two. <laughs> Five hundred thousand. No, I'm playing. The price goes up. The price goes up every time. It's a passionate right. story. It's a passionate story. But uh, a couple of, of those same people that were doing the sideways look every week when I walked in the room mm. are the ones that delivered me that gold plaque. Because no. mm. it went gold so quick, oh, I had a, the, it was like it came out and I had a plot the next day. It seems like yeah. we got this mm, down pat for some reason. So <laughs> simultaneously, I was so, noticing that. <laughs> so we, um, so yeah, so so that was so good trouble, uh, and there were powerful, there were a that was golden trouble. Now, yes. You are you are on you a different level. You like you out here on some like musical Goku super yeah. yeah. saving real. the rest of these like artists, like, yeah. and for they real. don't even know. Like, how does that feel to you knowing that you done, like, literally you probably saved hundreds of careers without even blinking, right? How does it feel knowing that? Like, I mean, for me it feels amazing because I, I and you just, don't even need I the credit. love music and I love the artists and I no. don't need the credit. And I'm very no. much a behind the scenes person. The show. Like, mm. I just, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I love that because I just, because I love to see good music come to light. Yes. And especially with young artists now who have like figured out their, their way as independent artists. And that's how mm. head music was born. So when I was still at Sony, I formed the company. Mm. But, Smart. you know, my lawyer was like, you know you can't work inside of this company, right? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> No, and you know you, you, know you <laughs> okay. can't 
acting you know, on the horizon, um, I see. But I, but I started the company, and then when uh, once I was outside of Sony, I like I had a big tragedy in my family. My sister passed away, uh, so yeah. I was um, I was partnering with folks on like publishing and the music stuff, and like getting this whole thing geared up. And then mm -hmm. I lost my sister, so I kind of shut it all down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was like, you know what? I was gonna go back to working in television. Oh. I had moved to Georgia, mm -hmm. and um, Steve Harvey. Who was from Showtime at Denver? I know yeah, from yes, Showtime. yes, he was there at Showtime. Um, me? No, uh, Michael, can you pass my oh. water for you? No, um, I'm dying. I'm dying. My fault. <laughs> um, I was gonna go work for Steve Harvey okay, because yeah. his company was there in Georgia, yes. and um, and then I get a phone call from Wyclef, John. Legend, the legend, um, the legend. And wait, he just called you? He, yeah, well, so a mutual friend gave him my number, it, and yes, like he literally, like I just pick up the phone one day and it's like, why is John on the other end of the phone? <laughs> and I didn't know him, I had never met him. Oh, wow. I, I, never, heard, I, I heard didn't know why. saving lives, what's going on? <laughs> 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 He was coming back in the music business. Remember, he had been gone yes, for, he had for a while. Like, yeah. Almost seven years. He yes. was like, mm -hmm. and he was coming back in the music business, and um, and he also wanted to do this like technology project with Bang and Olufsen. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Those headphones the are fired. Headphones. Yes. And, yes. and um, fine. Thank you. Man. I was Thank like, you for that. Yes. No worries. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so, um, because by the time he finished like t explaining the technology part to me. And about sending like um, recording albums and then sending it to space and then beam it back down so it couldn't the music couldn't get um, like a cloud stolen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, but he ain't gonna talk about no cloud. He was talking about outer, <laughs> outer space. space. Do you hear me? Like <laughs> a satellite out there or something? Yes. Yeah, we talking about Bang and Olsen. Yo, yeah. first of all, get your levels up. <laughs> oh, I wasn't was ready wrong for that. No, Star that was, outer space. That Star was, dust. Sucker. That wasn't even the B and O part. That wasn't even the Bang and Olsen part. That was just like why Clef was like, I know we can oh, do this, uh -huh. and this way okay. nobody will be able to to steal the music mm -hmm. no more. So, you know, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm about to do this tour on Mars. Right? <laughs> Make sure they get it first. <laughs> Send them the carnival. <laughs> I'm a touchdown in a few. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, Too funny. what is he talking about? So I was like, oh no, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, and so after that, he called me several times over the next few months and I wouldn't pick up the phone. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I was, like, was that serious? Yeah, I was like, and it was because there was a mutual friend who was telling him, this is the person and you have to convince oh, her. Oh, okay. You, you didn't even know you had the co This is who you okay, need, okay, right? Okay. And I was like, what is wrong with him? He wants to send music to outer space. And I was like, I feel so bad for him. He, he don't, he, he's he doing his career. <laughs> Poor white class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's so funny. Bro. I can just and imagine the conversation like oh that. I'm going to send my music to outer space. Like finally, finally, we get on the phone. Um, we have a real conversation. Mm. And so I said to him, well, I, I want to do this indie music thing. And I broke it down. Like, I want only women to work at this mm -hmm. company. And these are the things that happened to me inside of the major labels. And this is why I want to create this place for women. Mm -hmm. um, Talk that and talk. so yeah. if you will help me with that, I will help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um and so he said yes and, and really that's how like his music got that's going so and got dope. off that's, the ground. That's and so he dope. started producing music for the artists and, oh, and working working okay. with me on artist development. Mm, I learned so much more about artist development than I even and I thought I knew all there was to know about artist development because mm -hmm. because Teddy was a lunatic on Teddy artist yeah. development. Teddy, Teddy yeah. <laughs> Tell you <laughs> <laughs> um, but Wyclef just, I mean, him with, with artists in the studio, with like vocal producing and all of that, yes. it's just a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so for these for these past five years, we've mm -hmm. worked together on all the his music artists. Nice. Um, and then on his own projects. So and who are those artists? Like, what what does your lineup look like? I know, so, but for the people yeah. that don't know, well, the lineup is Wyclef. Mm -hmm. he, he is a Hits music artist. Um, <laughs> Jazzy Amra, 
Uh, shout out to Jazzy. You, yeah. heard, you, heard her, yeah, you heard her music earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy Torres. Shout out to him. He's yeah, nice with it. Plays instruments and all yeah, that. Oh, that's a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Our, our I forgot to get his stuff. We gotta, we gotta, yeah, we gotta yeah. plug yeah. him in. Into that. Okay. Yeah. Him and Drove with. Oh, yeah, something. we gotta oh, tap into yeah. him. He has yeah. an yeah. amazing yeah. song out right now called um, Enamorados. That song is it's amazing. Really beautiful. Wait, say that again. Enamorados. Oh, you bilingual? No. But Jeremy is. That's boss, by the way. And then Riley. Shout out to Shout out to Riley. Young King. Rose fan. Rose fan. What's up with him, man? He got the gear coming out. I see him with a lot of hoodies, moving around. He's moving some units. He's doing a lot of things. I see Teddy Riley shoot a video with the Rose and What was that? Yeah. Where was that? Was that on the Versus? That was, yeah, on, the versus. That was versus. on the Versus in Absolutely. the M.O.R. Power Rose hoodie on yes. the Versus yes. battle? When I saw wow. that, I was like, oh. Never tuck your time you for real. You orders after that. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, he did. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's a good Because yeah. Teddy Riley was on fire after that. Oh, yeah. they're trying so, to make fun of his so wait, uh, how, Wi-Fi. Actually, now that we're here, how do you feel about the Versus? Who won, in your opinion? And you can't Whoa. be biased. 